Happy holidays! Boy, are you guys in for a crazy adventure as we follow an elf and his sleigh ride into a gingerbread town. This sleigh ride is filled with games, arts and crafts, songs, and even a little drama. So sit back and enjoy. Here we go! It was a bright and sunny day when the elf sleigh started to run out of Christmas cheer. Oh no! What's going on? My sleigh is running out of Christmas cheer! I need to get more! But down below, the elf sees a gingerbread town. Look! There's a gingerbread town down there. I think I see the Holly Jolly Game Room. They've got to have a lot of Christmas cheer there. Let's take a look. Hi, Art. Welcome to the Holly Jolly Game Room. How can I help you? My sleigh just broke down outside and I need more Christmas cheer to get on with my journey. Well, you've come to the right place. Let's come inside and learn a few games to get you some Christmas cheer. Get you on your way. Thank you. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! Come on, let's go and play! Okay! <laughs> For this game, you will need three different sizes of toilet paper rolls, a table, and a blindfold. One person will be the leader, and the second person will be the listener. The listener is blindfolded. The leader will give instructions to the listener. The leader will give directions to the listener, guiding him or her toward the toilet paper, and telling him or her where to place it on the table. The object of the game is to stack the rolls from largest to smallest on the table to create a toilet paper snowman. <laughs> this is a game to bring Christmas cheer. It's called Santa's Lost Reindeer. Santa's reindeer have gotten lost in the Jingle Bell Forest and you have to give them directions to get out. One person is blindfolded and the other is not. Santa's elf must tell the reindeer how many steps to take in each direction to find their way out of the Jingle Bell Forest. Things you'll need, three cushions or pillows or towels. Start your course by laying your pillows diagonally from each other. Make sure you have a starting line and a finish line. Things to be aware of. Remove other household articles. Path needs to be clear and safe. Adhere to social distancing when needed. How to play. The elf, standing behind the reindeer, will use directional commands to guide the reindeer around the far side of each tree. Switch roles and try again. Take your time and have fun. The elves have finally finished wrapping gifts for children all over the world. But then look at this place! It's a mess! Let's learn to play this game so we can help clean up after the elves. How to play the game. First step is to set up your workshop with a line or divider down the center of your workshop. Next, place all of your wrapping paper and gift boxes randomly on both sides of your workshop. For one minute, both sides will take turns placing their mess on each other's side of the workshop. The side with the least amount of mess on it wins. Safety rule. Do not throw items at each other. Items must be dropped directly on the floor on the opposing team side. After you're done playing, make sure to clean up after your presents have been opened and throw your trash away to keep your area clean. Let's watch how this game unravels. Wow, Mark! Looks like we got enough Christmas cheer to fill you up a quarter tank! Wow! Hey! hey. Oh, thanks, AJ. That was a lot of fun. Any idea where I can get more Christmas cheer? Hmm. Why don't you try down to the All Like Christmas Craft Shop? I heard over there they have lots of Christmas cheer. Awesome. Thanks! Bye! Hi, is this the Olive White Christmas Craft 
shop? It sure is. Are you in some need of Christmas cheer? Yes, I am. We can help you with that. Come join us. Really? Yes. Thanks. Hi, this is Maddie and Nishad. I'm the college school full-time lifeguard. And I'm Kirsten Kidani. I'm the recreation director at Alawai Community Park. Today we'll be making Christmas-themed picture frame mats for you to give as gifts out of recycled items from around your home. For this project, you will need a hard surface to cut on or a safety mat to cut on, two pieces of cardboard or any kind of box top cut to 8 by 10 inches, a piece of easel back cut from a 4 by 10 piece of cardboard or recycled paper from around your home, construction paper cut to 1 inch strips 4 times, X-Acto knives, clear tape, double stick tape, wrapping paper, rulers, and some sort of quotes or art to put into your mat when you are ready. This is an example of how the finished product is gonna look like. For this project, you will need two sheets of cardboard or a cereal box cut to eight by 10. Also have one piece extra cut to four inches by 10 inches. Step one would be to mark all four sides of your board on one of them to one inch and a quarter. For your easel, make a pencil line at two inches, four inches, and eight inches, and then lightly cut with your blade, but do not cut all the way through. Then take your X-Acto knife and carefully cut the mat out on the interior. Be sure to cut a little bit over the edge of your line so that the interior hole just falls through easily. So at this point, you'll have three pieces cut. You'll have your mat that you cut the opening out of, the backing that you have for it, and you also have the easel that you have pre-prepped for it. Then you will next lay down the piece of wrapping paper that you will wrap your mat boards with. After you've laid down your piece of wrapping paper that you're going to use, be sure to lay out your pieces so that each of them have at least one inch of paper border around them. At this point, you are going to take your double stick tape and put four pieces on the interior of the mat with the window, four pieces on the exterior of your solid board. For the next step, you're going to peel the double stick tape and lay down your mat board face down. Be sure to burnish down so that the paper adheres well. Do this to the front and the back of the mat board. When you have done this, trim in between. Again, remember to leave one inch between so that you have enough paper to wrap around the back of your mats and save the extra piece for your easel. For the easel, you're gonna lay down four pieces on every section and then peel them down. Be sure when you are placing your easel down to lay it loosely so that it's not too tight when you are making the folds in the paper. At this stage, you can trim the excess off of your easel and you can also lay down tape loosely so that you can get it set up to make your triangle. At this stage for your easel, be sure to just clear tape on the edges and make a triangle. You can set this on the side for now. The next step would be to cut all corners at an angle inward so that you can start wrapping the interior of your mat and also cutting on the exteriors some squares out in the corners so that you can wrap your paper around to make a clean looking mat. Next, you lay down double-sided tape on the interior and exterior of your mat so that you can wrap the lip of the mat and the edge of the mat cleanly. And there you have it. There is your top layer of your mat. You can set that on the side and move on to the back of the mat. You're gonna lay down four pieces of tape, cut out the corner edges again for wrapping, and just proceed to peel and adhere where needed. For your secondary accent mat, cut some strips of whatever color of paper that you have. We have recycled a calendar here, which are the black strips cut to one inch. Lay down your double stick tape on the interior of your mat, and then begin to set the paper down showing one quarter inch of each all the way around so that you have a secondary accent color to make your artwork pop. Next, you can trim off any excess of the secondary pop color so that it looks clean and trim the artwork that you're going to put into the window. Next, you tape your artwork into the mat. And from there, you tape your mat back to the mat front. 
Make sure that it's secure using double stick tape and push down. Next, you're gonna put on your easel. Using double stick tape or clear tape, you're just going to tape it down so that there will be a structure for it to stand. And voila, your mat that you have made yourself from things in your home is now ready for people to receive as gifts. That's it. Weren't those crafts amazing, Mark? And now mm -hmm. your tank's gonna be half full. Here you go. Whoa. But we're on our way up to Manoa to the Manoa Holiday Theater to watch a movie. If you wanna come with us? There's a Uber coming and we can all go together. <laughs> yes. Christmas cheer. We know just the place to go. We're all heading down to the Holiday Theater. And on the way down, there's nothing better than listening to some old-fashioned Christmas carols. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it's to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Carols are to
was the night before reopening, time to unpack. Every director was prepping to welcome all back. The gyms were swept clean and the soaps were replaced, awaiting the day closure would be erased. Down at the Alawai, Kirsten was preparing for her new programs and the classes she's sharing. The plans were all ready, the schedule all done. The only thing missing was the laughter and fun. With AJ and Derek and Maddie there too, they were excited for their tree to debut. With a twinkle of ornaments and a bright tree topper, Macaulay staff knew their tree was a showstopper. We fly to New Gym at Manoa District Park where Kristen and Tyler were lighting the dark. Up on the ladder, they hung with care, beautiful Christmas lights to fill the air. But let's not forget our friends at the pool. Manoa is where all the swimmers stay cool. And who better to spread the holiday cheer than Crystal and Brandy till Santa gets here. When outside the door there rose such a clatter, we sprang from our duties to see what was the matter. To our surprise and glee, we see walking through the park, we knew it had to be, of course, it was Mark! More rapid than eagles, his orders they came, and he whistled and shouted and called us by name. Now Brandy, now Crystal, now AJ and Kirsten, on Maddie, on Derek, on Tyler and Kristen. Reopening is coming, we hope the date is near. Prepare the facilities, we hope it's this year. Now to the front of the park, to the top of the walls. Now sweep away, wipe away, clean away all. Because reopening is here, the end is in sight. So happy reopening to all, and to all a good night. guys, we've got all of our Christmas cheer. Thanks. All right, looks good. Well, I better be on my way. Thanks guys, Merry Christmas.